Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. I am Martina Lilly, or these are my hands anyway. Today, I don't know if anybody wants this video, but we're gonna reorganize and just kind of, I don't know, we just let's just call it reorganizing my blush and highlighter drawer. So in here is like cream blushes, cream highlighters, powder blushes, powder highlights, and like face palettes. And I kind of want to organize them. Right now I kind of have them organized by brand, but I actually want to organize them by like color. I thought I would just kind of bring you guys along for the journey and the ride and hopefully you enjoy it. And if you don't, that's cool. See you in the next one. I personally love seeing people's makeup collections and just love seeing them move their stuff around and all that kind of thing. So I'm hoping you guys do too. Anyway, let's carry on. Uh, do the YouTubey things, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and uh, let's get started. Kind of hoping you can see this as best you can. Sorry if it's a little bit awkward or anything, but you know, we'll just have a good old fashioned time, hey? I think what I'll do is start by kind of taking everything out and then like reorganizing it back in. This is my empty drawer. I have like one of these, which is like bigger kind of slots. So it like holds uh, wider products. And then I have these, which are amazing. This is from Vanity Collection. I'll try and remember to link them down below. And it's got uh, two, four, six, like 10 kind of slots where you can put like you know, bronzers, blushes, whatever, but you can also take these out. So if you wanted to, you can like make some of these wider and that kind of a thing. So these are awesome. I want to organize these kind of by color because I have a lot of like, like for example, like the Pat McGrath Labs ones and stuff, they all look the same. And I just kind of want to know, like even my Kaleidos ones, like they don't have shade names on them. So I have to like open them all up. I just kind of like want to know what, like going color stories, I guess. like two tubs here which have a heap of stuff thrown in them now but they're actually like for like these kinds of tubes that don't fit properly anywhere else um and I actually think I'm going to put them down the sides here because they were at the front bit here but I think I'm going to put these down the sides for now uh now there are products in here that need to come out because they don't actually belong in there And I'm actually going to just quickly make sure that I want everything in these tubs. This is not technically a declutter, but I am going to, I guess, look at my products and see if there is anything I want to declutter just while I'm here. I won't show every product. I don't really want this video to be too long, but I'll let you know what I am decluttering. This is new, by the way. You guys haven't seen this. This is the new YSL um, highlighters that they released. I think I used it maybe in one of my like everyday pat time lapses and it's actually really pretty i wouldn't say it's my absolute favorite liquid highlighter i've ever used but it is really pretty i don't regret buying it or anything same with my tarte glow tape uh, i think i'm gonna let go of my mco beauty highlight and glow just because i have i think i need to draw my iso right i'm sorry if the lighting's not great we'll we'll work together with it i'm gonna get rid of my mco beauty just because i have the tart one and the tart one is my favorite and then this spotlight one is actually almost empty it's only got a couple of uses left in it so i will keep it and i'm just gonna focus really hard on using it up i love my skin do this is from babe it's like one of my favorite liquid highlighters and then this is the tart maracuja highlighter kind of stick and I don't super duper love this I'll be honest but it's still pretty new so I'm gonna keep it and I'm still tossing up whether or not I want to do a full face of Tarte Cosmetics can you guys let me know in the comments down below if you'd like to see a full face of Tarte Cosmetics pretty please uh so yeah I'm gonna hang on to that for now also this is my Laura Mercier light catcher powder that people hate but I absolutely adore I think it's one of it it's not designed to be a highlight but honestly I use it as a highlight and I think it's one of the best highlights around because it's so natural anyway these are all of the kind of like tubey blushes um this is like a NARS orgasm no behave kind of like multi-stick and I don't like it and it doesn't look good on my particular skin so that's 
going. Uh, I'm going to get rid of this MCO Beauty ones as well because I have so many. These are really good. You can only get them in Australia and they are really, really good. But I just, I don't really use drugstore and I have so many of these formulas. I'm going to keep my Charlotte Tilbury matte ones. I don't think these are the best product in the world. I definitely think they're overhyped. But, you know, I like them enough to keep them. This is the Peachgasm, Glowgasm one from Charlotte Tilbury. Definitely keeping that one. I love the Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer blushes. I know people don't like them, but I really like them. Uh, I probably, I can see myself decluttering this Tarte one. I don't super love it, but again, I'm going to keep it just in case I'm going to do, I'm just going to keep it a bit longer. It's still brand new, so we'll just see how we go with that. This Ellis Fast Cream blush is so good, and it does not get the hype. I mean, that's like all the product that have dried, so it doesn't swatch really well there. But anyway, just trust me, this product's really good. <laughs> Ellis Vaz does not get the hype that it deserves. And then this like little Vive Sunset Blush Balm is so disappointing. I haven't even shown this on my channel because honestly I used it once and I hated it. And it's, it, it looks fine to swatch, but it honestly, like when you put that on your cheek, it is like, does not show up at all. And it lifts up. It's got that kind of a formula that just like lifts up all of your foundation. It's definitely a product designed for like, people that want that like no makeup makeup look I think and that is just not me which is a shame um I do love Vive but yeah this product is not for me so I think I will give this away yeah I think I'm gonna give this one away also uh none of this is meant to be bragging or anything like that makeup is my thing I obviously do YouTube that kind of a thing I'm not saying you need this much makeup or anything like that this is just this is just me let's do the liquid blushes I have four makeup by Mario's this one is uh, this one is soft coral, dusty, earthy pink, dusty rose, and raspberry, which I love all of them. I think they're amazing. I'm going to start separating these for now. So... Soft Coral is... Oh, they go in here. I didn't realise that. Okay, well, anyway, Soft Coral is peach. And then... This is like a bright pink. A more muted pink. And then a more, like, mauve colour. Then we've got my NARS Liquid Blush, which is like, I guess, a muted pink. So I'll put that there for now. And then my Le Beige Water Fresh Blush Tint Thingy. That is like a peach. Again, I might just do this just while I'm sliding the cream blushes out. So these are gonna be like my more neutralish pinks, and then these are gonna be my peaches for now. And then this is like a bright pink and a mauve. This one is the nearly neutral cream blush from Rare. I don't know if I've shown this on my channel yet or not, but it's really nice. I like the other blush, the liquid, the pinch liquid blush is better, but this one is still nice and I really like the colour. So this is more of like a neutral pink. Then I have this one, which is like, this is the NARS Air Matte. I'm going to put this more in like the pinky one. Actually, I guess this is more like a pinky one. Mm. Hmm. No, that one kind of still goes over there. Okay, now we have Rose Ink. I'm going to call that more Pink Pink. And then the Fenty Beauty, which is kind of like these two combined. So, put it there. Tower 28. Do we call this Peach or do we call it Neutral? I call it my Peach. Same with this LYS. This is definitely more peach. And actually, I forgot how good these LYS cream blushes are. They don't get the hype they deserve. My absolute beloved yummy balm. This is definitely more like a neutral pink, I think. Or do we call that? Yeah, no, I call that neutral pink. The Say blushes. This one's definitely peach. And this one's more like mauve This is a Vision Flush Bread and Butter from Danessa Myricks. I guess that's... Oh. Yeah, that belongs in the neutral pink. Oh, this is a new one that I got. Um, this is Encourage. This is the Rare Beauty. Since I discovered that I don't like the matte 
formula of this, but I like the norm, the other formula. I think it's like the dewy one or whatever. I am now obsessed with collecting these colors. Uh, this is definitely Morby. Look how beautiful that is. Love that. I forgot that I got that. That's bad. And then this one is like, this is Virtue. I might put that in the peach. It's like a true kind of neutralish color, but I'll put it in the peach category. These are all of my Victoria Beckham cream blushes. I'm obsessed with these. They're so good. This is Roller Skate. See, I feel like that's like a peachy coral, right? Mm. Let's just put that there for now. This, this one's Fame, and this is like a really beautiful mauve. This one is Knickers, which is kind of like a, uh, that's definitely a peach. And this is my favorite cream blush playground. Look at that, I love that so much. Uh, what do I, I'm gonna put that in the peach too. Where will I put knickers? I think I'm gonna put knickers in the pink, right? I need to like swatch it against this one. Oh, but it's not, it's like a really bright coral. Okay. Right there. I think that's all my cream blushes. So, how will we? organize them is the question. I'm going to leave these until last actually. So I'll just keep them in the color stories. Let's organize highlighters then first, I think. Yeah, let's do that. This is Opal from Makeup by Mario, but I am actually going to finally declutter this. I was going to do a full face of Makeup by Mario, but I don't think I will anymore because I can't actually use his foundation put coconut in it and I don't know it just kind of feels a bit redundant so anyway I'm gonna get rid of that finally this is my beautiful Hermes highlighter so it's like a gold put that there Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Glow Glide which is like a gold Rare Beauty Enchanted which is a gold Don't mind the, like, if you can see little scratches and stuff on my arm, by the way. My cat got a fright and, like, dug his claws in. Um, LYS highlighter. This is also a beautiful highlight. There's a couple of LYS products I really dislike, but there's a couple that's, like, so good that do not get the hype they deserve. The highlighter and the cream blush being one of them. That's gold. Ray Rider from Kaleidos. Look at that. Oh, that's not a true, true gold, though. So let's just pop that there for now. Then I have Pearl from Mario. And I guess it's kind of, do we count that as gold? Yeah. Sunstone from House Labs, one of my all-time faves. Oh, that's stunning. Plexi Glow from Natasha. Pat McGrath Labs Golden Nectar. I can't believe she discontinued that shade. It is so good. That's more like a peach, but yeah, that's more like a peach. Let's just put that there for now. Then we have the pink highlighters. So this is NARS Capri, and I love it. Um, put pink over there for now. Well, you can't see that. Okay, I'll just put pink here for now. <laughs> Christian Dior. I did actually declutter this and then put it on my Depop, and then no like it didn't get sold which is completely fine and then i was just like you know what i'm just gonna keep it because i don't absolutely hate it and i have paid for it so i may as well instead of like giving it away or whatever i will get some use out of it so keeping the good old classic bron uh, highlighting brick from bobby brown in pink glow also very beautiful my absolute favorite and i don't think you can get this anymore but it is impeccable the divine rose highlighter from Pat, it is so gorgeous. If you see this and you uh, like ha have half a mind to try it, like seriously, it is so good. I have these two Kaleidos ones, but these are like multi crooms, I think. So mm, that's like a white icy. Put that there for now. And then what is this one? Well, that's like a pink. That is so cool. Look how cool that one is. Oh, I love that. That's like a peachy. Oh, these are so cool. Honestly, look at that. That is amazing. Anyway. Okay. And then I have this one, which is like all of them. So I think I'll put this in the face palette section. 
That's all my powder highlights. I'm going to organize them over here. Perfect, that's all the powder highlights organized. I think that's all the powder highlights organized. All right, let's sort out blushes now. I have way too many blushes. But, and I didn't realize how much I love blush, but I really, really love it. It's, yeah, anyway, that snuck up on me. All right, let's categorize Pat. Uh, Electric Coral, Coral Select Red. I'll just put the red over here. Mm, I think this just ends up coming out pink. Yeah, so this is like a cool tone pink. I'll put down here for you now. Neutral, I'll put here. Flirtatious is like a mauvey pink, which I'll put back here. Oh, I forgot my Tom Ford. This has both highlighter, so I might just put this in the pink section. And then we obviously have Paradise Glow, which is my all time favorite blush. That goes in the neutral section. Pesca from Vive, which is really quite pretty. I might put neutrals just back here for now and then peaches at the front for now. Um, the Item Beauty. I actually really like this blush, but they are discontinued. And honestly, I have so many blushes that it's kind of getting lost, even though I really like it. So I'm going to actually declutter this and give it to someone that will give it the love and attention it deserves. I have this Dior blush in Delicate Matte, which is like a really bright peach. And honestly, I always forget I own this. And if I didn't spend so much money on it, I'd probably declutter it, but I'm not going to because it was very expensive. <laughs> I have this Cover FX Monochromatic Duochrome, uh, not Duochrome blush, but Duo blush in peach. And I really, really like that. So that's staying. My Luminous Silk in Offbeat, which is perfection to me, so that is staying. My Make Beauty, is this like a peach? Do we call this peach? Like a ready peach, hey. Mm, I'll put that towards like in between the peach and the neutral section. My Hermes blush, which uh, I really want some of the new shades, but I need to be well behaved. But I love this one, it's like a really nice light pink. Go over there. My pink Bare Minerals bronzer, which is also very pretty. That can go right here. I have my two cool tone pinks, pink blushes, which is my Too Faced Candy Crush, which is very pink, and then my the ever famous Dior Rosy Glow. Uh, the new ones of these, the new shades, are launching in Australia on the seventh of June. And I have my eye on, I think it's Rosewood that I shall be picking up. So these are a very cool tone pink. So they can go right here. And then I have a Gucci blush in Tender Apricot. I also kind of want some of the new shades of this one. But good lord, I don't need them. Anyway, that's a peach. <laughs> this is Karen Coral from Huda Glowish. See, I feel like, is this... This doesn't feel like it's such a peach. It feels more like a pink. Yeah, I'm going to put that in the pink section. My Valentino Absolutely Beautiful Pink Blush. Oh, I love that. Behave from NARS, which is more like a mauvey pink. So I put that up near Cretaceous for now. My Mario blushes, this is Desert Rose. And I feel like that's kind of like a neutral, right? Feels like the neutral is right. I swear that is from my cat, okay? I promise you. <laughs> he latched on really good and he got his claw stuck in there and it was like hooked in so deep that I had to like grab his paw and pull it out because he couldn't get it out. It was, yeah, it hurt. It hurt as much as it looks. Um, this is Creamy Peach from Mario. Then we have these Kaleidos ones. So this is like a red, even though it's electric coral. It's like a bright peach. I actually think I'm going to declutter that one. I've never used it. 
so I will give that away because I don't need it. And then, oh, I really like that pink. You can go there. And then this is like another cool tone pink. And honestly, the level, I don't need this. So <laughs> I'm going to also give that one away because I already have two. Okay, that's better. Oh, yeah, I also have <laughs> the Acai Sky, I think it's called. Yeah, from uh, House Labs and then Pomelo Peach from House Labs. So I have a lot of peach blushes. Okay, so I'm going to put these red blushes at the back here. And I might try the Morphs, which is flirtatious. Did I say this was a Morph? Or did I say this was a neutral? It's kind of like a deeper pink, I guess. got my cool tone pinks here or like my really my the cool tone pinks are really bright pinks here this whole row here is like peach and nudie colors and then this whole row here is like pinks of like deeper pinks, so like mauves and like a deeperish pink all right now i'm going to try and figure out what i'm going to do with my cream washes i totally forgot a pink blush which is this one uh, where will this go? It's kind of like a more nudie pink. to abandon my system for the cream blushes because they all just kind of they just don't quite all fit anyway so I've just lined up the blushes from like small to biggest here and then I don't know if you can really see but at the back I've like put my makeup by Mario ones and my say ones and then in this little tray here I have like Victoria Beckham NARS Rare and Chanel. These are my liquid highlighters and they're all stained because they're all absolutely impeccable. These five right here are like holy, 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 holy grails for me. So they're definitely not going anywhere. The Lisa Eldridge ones need to go in the tray down here. Now I have face palettes. This is a little Kaja Bento box. I got this for like a 2020 kind of like best of review and this was like in Kaki's favorites and I really like it. So this will stay. And then I have my these face palette, which is really beautiful. My Chanel Tendresse blush palette, which is honestly impeccable. I love this so much. My Pillow Talk blush palette and highlight palette which I absolutely adore my Natasha Denona my dream palette which I absolutely adore and this is I've got two blushes in here I can't get them out I tried to like depot them and then the highlighter got ruined which was fine it was too dark for my skin anyway but I want to try and get these out but I can't get it out I tried putting a straightener 
like sitting it on a straightener and like melting the glue but it didn't work so I'd like to depot these if anyone can figure out how for me can you let me know in the comments buddy please <laughs> um but yeah I am eventually going to depot these and so yeah so I'll keep this finished. I have my two blush palettes from Luna Beauty which I'm tempted to depot as well and just put all of these into like one giant one but I also love the packaging so much so I'm going to do that and then I have my depotted blush and delights blushes from Pat McGrath Labs which I absolutely adore as well so I need to fit all of these in and now I'm thinking how I originally had these set up is actually probably the way to go Think I've done it and this might look really disorganized to some people but to me it makes sense so what I've got is uh, two cream blushes over here all of my liquid highlights in here and then I don't know if you can see but I've got my two Luna Beauty blush palettes and my depotted Pat McGrath Labs blush and delights there and then I don't think you can see very well Let me try. and then down here is cream blushes that either don't fit in here or don't want them in here so this is still cream blushes and then I've got all my like standy yucky to be cream blushes back here now there's two gaps here which might annoy you but I do have two makeup by Mario cream blushes coming so they can go right in there perfect little slot for it then, uh, down here, I have my Chanel palette, my Charlotte Tilbury, my Kaja, my Laura Mercier loose highlighter powder, and uh, Natasha, my Dream palette, and the V face palette. These are all my pink highlighters and my Dior one. And then I have all my gold highlighters here. All of my, all my like, nudie pinks and ready deeper blushes all of my peaches or nudes and then my really cool tone or super bright pinks so that is very exciting they kind of all seem to fit i do have a mac glow clay blush that i just remembered that i'm gonna have to put in here that i haven't tried yet uh that's like a neutral but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it we might just start bringing neutral blushes down here actually why don't we just do that that's actually a better idea because these then are neutrals. Just bring these forward. So these are all actual peach peaches, and then these are neutrals. And then I can just like continue to build the neutrals back. Brilliant, you guys. Well done. Okay, all right. That is it. That is reorganizing my blush, highlight, face, palette, draw. Honestly, I know this was a really random video, but I wanted to do this and I thought I may as well film it. So I hope you enjoyed it and you enjoyed seeing all of my collection. Um, the stuff that we are decluttering, these two Kaleidos blushes, these three MCO Beauty ones, Mario Pearl highlighter, the NARS Orgasm thingy, the Vive Cream Blush, and then this item beauty blush so this wasn't the purpose of this wasn't a declutter it really was just a rearrange but um while i was here i was like i may as well do a little bit of a declutter so anyway 
um, yeah, alright, I hope you enjoyed the video and enjoyed it in some way, shape or form. If you did, uh, pretty please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you have made it to this point, you're an absolute legend, thank you so, so much. Other than that, I hope you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world and I will see you next time.